tell me something about yourself are usually asked question at the start of the interview to get the conversation started. Mostly, 90% of the interview, this is the start question, and your response will set the tone for the rest of the interview. When the interviewer asks you this question, tell me something about yourself. He or she really wants to know how your experience is related to the job you're applying for. And this is the easiest way to get the conversation started. You can answer these questions in so many ways, and people are not sure what is the best answer for this question. Take the time to prepare how you want to tell your experience and ensure you make a first impression that will lead to a job offer. Today, I'm going to teach you the outline the standard answer. Then with a little practice, your answer will naturally flow as you get comfortable. Sample answer to this question. I'm John, a manufacturing engineer, graduated from Kennesaw State University. I am a self-driven professional with five years experience in manufacturing and production design. My passion and skilled focus on machine learning, robotics, 3D drawing and design. And aside from that, I am knowledgeable in installation and troubleshooting of manufacturing equipment. Next question. Tell me something about your current or previous job. Sample answer. I've spent five years at ABC Company as manufacturing engineer, and my job applied continuous improvement methods such as lean manufacturing to enhance cost effectiveness, quality, and implement changes to reduce cost and improve production. Next question. A safety guard is missing on a conveyor motor chain, but your manager wants to start running the production line. What would you do? Sample answer. Safety issues and procedures must be followed and enforced, and it should be accepted by everyone from the general manager going down to the production worker. If there is a safety guard that is missing on a conveyor, it should be rectified first before the line running to prevent accident or serious physical injuries. Next question. Kindly explain what is Six Sigma and how you use it. Sample answer. Six Sigma is a set of management tools and techniques designed to improve business by reducing the likelihood of error. It is a data-driven approach that uses a statistical methodology for eliminating defects. As a manufacturing process or industrial engineer, you should already be Six Sigma certified. If not, then plan to be certified soon. Next question. What is the difference between Kaizen and Six Sigma? Sample answer. Both Six Sigma and Kaizen are techniques used to make business improvements. These systems are both designed to be used continuously in order to make positive changes as time goes on. The difference between Kaizen and Six Sigma is that Kaizen is used to improve the company as a whole, whereas Six Sigma involves recognizing and correcting deviations in a product. Next question. Describe what is total quality management. Sample answer. Total quality management is a management approach to long-term success through customer satisfaction. In a total quality management effort, all members of an organization participate in improving processes, products, services, and the culture in which they work. Next question. Explain what is lean manufacturing. Sample answer. Lean manufacturing has enabled businesses to increase production, reduce costs, improve quality, and increase profits by following five key principles. Identify value, map the value stream, create flow, establish pull, and seek perfection. Next question. Can you define the term BLM and describe how it is used in manufacturing? Sample answer. BOM stands for Bill of Materials. It consists of a list of components used to manufacture a product. It may also be the supplier used in the manufacturing process. Finally, it is sometimes the tools and supplies the employees use in a manufacturing environment. Next question, are you familiar with Kanban and have you used it in your previous jobs? Sample answer. Kanban is a scheduling system 
which helps manufacturers decide how much to produce, what to produce, and when to produce. It also keeps track of manufacturing components and supplies and will replenish these at predetermined minimum levels of inventory. Kanban is a useful tool because it provides production managers with all the information they need in a single application. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time I will upload a new video, you will be notified. And also, check my other video like interview question and answer, hydraulic pneumatic, FANOC robotics, motor controls, and many more. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.